all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to be going over the trim break and extend features so that's also within your wireframe and if you go all the way to the right right now under modify we're going to go through all about trim break and extend so if you select that you're going to have a lot of options over here on the left side so what this option allows you to do is either trim so for example select two entities and trim the rest out or break them so that means if you select two entities you'll just really break them at their intersection or wherever you select. So you can either break them into two entities or get rid of one by trimming. All right, so let's go ahead and start with trimming and show you what that is. So first on auto, if you just select auto, select the first entity right here. If you just go over the second entity, you'll notice that the left side is dashed. That dashed means if you select this entity, the left side will be deleted. All right, so what I'm gonna do and keep doing in this video is I'm gonna keep pressing control Z to undo my last operation. This way I can keep showing you different things. So back to the trim break. Now, if I just select trim one entity over here, if I select my entity here and select the other one, it will only trim one side, okay? Only one entity. So auto, uh, for example, was the same thing as one entity. If you also go over each of these, it will give you a nice preview of what they do and how you know they are used better, okay? So uh, again, one entity, it deletes one entity only. So back and control Z to go back and undo that and go back to trim extend. So now trim two entities. So if I select one entity right here and here's my second one, depending on which one I select, you see the other two lines are gone. All right, so if I select that, the top one over here and that one over here is gone. So that's how you would use uh, two entities. So say for example, I select this one, I'm gonna come over here and select this and you can see the dashed ones are the ones that will be gone and if you select that, those two are gone. So again, okay, and I'll undo those two and go back to trim extent. So same thing with the three, except this time you have to select one, two for example, and there's your third one. So depending on which one you select, it will trim the rest or the leftovers of that one, all right? So you can use that by selecting those first two, for example, and the third one being one of these to get rid of them. Let me go ahead and show you real quick how that works. So if I select, for example, um, the, this one right here and this one right here. Oh, so I have those two selected and then my last one, now here, I'll select them again, one and two, and my last one is here, it will get rid of everything else. If I select this one, it will get rid of everything else that is not attached to those two lines. So that's where trim three entities comes in handy. All right, so back to trim again, and this time divide and delete. So it also it's the same, uh, same thing as trim basically, but if I just select a line, it will delete whatever section I have selected. So even though this is an entire line, if I just select here, for example, it will delete it. If I select here, it will delete it. So you can just point and click and it deletes whatever section uh, you wanna delete. So that's actually where I almost always have it at because I already know what I wanna delete. I will just click it and it deletes it, all right? So again, undo those and go back. So now trim to point. So trim to point, for example, I have this line selected. You can see that there's a point created now and depending on where I let that point go, for example here, it will delete everything on the left side of that point. All right, uh, and back again to the trim and extend. So extend uses this feature right here, extension length, and you would tell it how much you wanna extend it by. So for example, let's type in one inch, and I'm gonna just click on this feature, and you would see that it extends that way. So depending on where you click on it, if you click on the right side of it, so from midpoint to the right side, it will extend it to the right side. If you click towards the left side, it will expand it to the left side. Same thing with the top and with the bottom. All right, so that's where an extend feature comes in handy. So again, I'm gonna undo all of that to go back to normal and go back to trim. The last thing I wanted to show you in here is the break. So break is similar to trim, but it's only breaking the features. So you can use the break with all these features. I'm not gonna go through them again, but instead of deleting those, it, instead of trimming basically the leftover, it would just break them into multiple pieces. So for example, I have this one selected right here. Oops, I have extend here selected. So that's why it extended my part. But for example, if I select auto, select my part here, and then select my part here, it will already delete them. So if I go over my mouse, you notice that this one is one entire line, 
but this one is only one section okay and it separated them between here and here because I chose this line and this line so it just broke them into entities all right so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and let's go over here to the sub options of the trim break extend so the second one you're gonna see called break two pieces so very, very similar to regular breaking so if you select this one for example and um, this one over here it will break them into two pieces so there's one and there's two now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here because I want to show you guys how to join those two back together to do that come over here to join entities select your first one select your second one and then select and selection and now they are one piece all right so the next one down is called break at intersection all right so if you select this and select this one over here for example and select enter it will break them at the intersection that you've selected all four pieces this time not just two pieces but all four pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and control Z to undo that make sure that they are full again all right so then there's also break many so break many it'll allow you to select for example one two and there's my third one right here and end selection and you can break first of all the leftover of the last one and then also in however ways you want or however segments you want whether it's a segment the tolerance it's an exact distance apart or even a rounded distance so uh, I would suggest mostly using an exact distance unless you're just trying to see how it will look like for example you can also choose to delete keep or blank the lines that you've just modified uh, okay so for example let's go ahead and leave segments over here and I want to divide them into seven segments for example and select OK so these lines are now divided into segments you see how I'm uh, I can actually select one line over here and delete it select another one here and delete it and those are equal distances apart all right so I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of that until you make sure now let me go ahead and join these two back again together because I've undid one too many I believe so I'm gonna join these two together to make sure that everything is all one lines so next thing I want to do is trim many trim many is the same but you're really just trimming instead of breaking so I'm gonna select those two again and this one and selection and this is where you would trim from there all right so there you go you can trim from there same thing as a break again but it's for trimming and I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and last but not least there is break at point so you need to make sure to have a point to use that so go ahead and select it you will ask you to select line arcs or splines I'm gonna go ahead and select my uh, spline and my point now before I select my spline I'm gonna go ahead and select my point right here and my uh, circle and there you go you can see that it separates them from that point on out okay so from pointing at zero to that point so if you draw a line from the radius to over here that's zero so to work to wherever you have that point selected it's gonna automatically breaks it especially for the circles if it's just a line it will break it right on that point if it's a circle it uses that zero to whatever wherever that point is located as the line break point so this is also an overview of the trim break extend we will actually be using it in exercises as well and show you guys how it can actually be very very useful